We're talking about the dollar yen today as it breaks above the 151 to 152 area that I've talked about here for the past few weeks. And I'm going to discuss why this is so significant, what this could mean for the currency pair, and also the latest on the DXY. So first of all, with the dollar yen, we can see that going all the way back here to March of 2022, this has been a long-term trend line here for this market, serving as support back here. And you can see where we did get the breakdown through this area. We even got a retest right here before the market put in a new local low through here. And now we're seeing the market once again trade back above 151 to 152. So not only is it the location of this trend line down here, but it's also the location of several highs and lows going all the way back here to 2022. So this could be an incredibly significant reclaim here for this pair to where it could open up levels like 155.60 and potentially this high up here around 160. So what I mentioned over the weekend is the key here for the dollar yen, uh, because back here it wasn't really clear whether or not this was going to hold up as new support. So I wanted to see, you know, a few more days over here to see if the pair could hold above 151 to 152, this area down here. And so far it is doing that. So if this can hold up, and, and keep in mind too, we do have the U.S. presidential election coming up early next week on November 5th. So that is not far away. If we if we put a ver if we put a vertical line on the chart here, if we put a vertical line on the chart here, you can see where um, that is coming up very soon. Okay, so keep that in mind that this is going to matter for the USD. Okay, but if the dollar yen can hold above here going into the U.S. presidential election next week, then I do think we're looking at levels like 155.60 and potentially a move back here toward this high around 160 to 162. And the reason for this is quite simple. Anytime you get a reclaim like this back here, if this is a reclaim, okay, a reclaim of this significance, anytime you see this right here and a reclaim of a level this significant, remember, this is a confluence of what was resistance and could now be support here for this pair. Anytime you see this, this is significant and generally triggers an extension of the move that you've seen so this right here in other words you know get a retest down here in this area if it holds then we're looking at 155 60 potentially 160 now if this fails let's say that next week with the u.s presidential election the dollar yen drops back below this area through here if this fails the market drops back down here in this area below 151 then this becomes a potential short for a move back down here toward lows like this around 147. Now, let's take a look here at the DXY because this is also going to matter to kind of confirm what we're seeing here from the dollar yen. And by the way, if you do want to join a broker you can trust, I've trusted them for seven years, be sure to join Blueberry Markets. See the link in the description of this video or if you're on the website, scroll all the way down and click on that broker link. I've trusted them for seven years. You can trade Forex, crypto, commodities, and indices. Plus, for a limited time, you can get a 30% deposit bonus. Plus, if you deposit $1,000 or more, I will give you lifetime access to our VIP group. So be sure to sign up with them, deposit $1,000 or more, and join us in the VIP group. So looking at the DXY, what we've talked about here for the past few weeks, ever since this 102.60 reclaim, is my target, you know, following this reclaim right back here. All right, so you can see this was the bottom of this 2023 channel. And ever since the reclaim back here, right, this up here was my target, 104 to 104.50. And it's clear to see why. We've got a lot of highs and lows through this area. Now, this is still serving as key resistance for this market. And this is important to understand when you're trading something like the dollar yen and talking about a potential bullish reclaim of 152. Because in order for that to happen, the DXY is going to have to really get above this area around 104.50. Now, of course, the Japanese yen could weaken significantly against the dollar and that could send the dollar yen higher with this market kind of going sideways here. But for the most part, you are going to need to see the DXY breaking above this area to confirm an extension of this rally up toward areas like 106. All right, so without that, it is going to be difficult to see the dollar yen extend higher up toward levels like 155.60. So in my opinion, this is kind of a requirement to see the market get above this area. And as you can see so far, it is still range bound within this 104 to 10450 region. So still resistance right now for the USD and that alone means that you have to be cautious here with the dollar yen. Uh, and again, U.S. presidential election coming up here next week, guys. So be careful with this one. But I think if we can see the dollar yen hold above this area going into that event and following that event, then we are looking at moves, you know, up here toward 155.60, potentially 160. And if this fails, remember, a close below 151 is what it's going to take 
for this to turn into a short toward levels like 147. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Don't forget to, to join us in VIP. Click on the link in the description of this video to save 90% on lifetime access. Or if you're on the website, click on that join VIP link. I will see you on the inside. Trade well out there and I will talk to you again tomorrow.